The fossils gathered here at the New Brunswick Museum represent decades of collected effort by amateurs and experts alike. In each case, they made their discoveries, documented their finds, and then shared them with the New Brunswick Museum so the fossils could be preserved, studied, and put on display for everyone's enjoyment. With new discoveries, even fossil tours happening around Prince Edward Island, it's time to talk about the rules and regulations governing fossil finds in that province. Let's begin. Under PEI's Archaeology Act, fossils fall under the category of paleontological objects. Section 9 of the Act stipulates no person shall remove any archaeological or paleontological object from a site except as authorized by this Act. The Act also prohibits the destruction and sale of fossils. Meanwhile, Section 10 states that such finds, including their nature, location, and date of discovery, must be reported to the authority directly responsible. On PEI, this person is the Director of Aboriginal Affairs and Archaeology. Basically, this means that when you find a fossil, it's illegal to collect it, but your duty to report it. The neighboring provinces of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia have similar laws in place, not to punish fossil hunters, but to encourage them to reach out and do the right thing. For example, if you find a fossil in New Brunswick, bring it to the attention of the New Brunswick Museum. Likewise, in Nova Scotia, you can contact the Nova Scotia Museum. So if you're walking along a beach in PEI and you suddenly find a fossil, I recommend that you take some photos, make a note of the location, and pass the information along to the experts. Prince Edward Island has a provincial archaeologist who you can reach out to by phone or email. And if you find a fossil in a PEI provincial park, you can reach out to Parks Canada. Island paleontology has come a long way since Donald McLeod first unearthed that chunk of Dimetrodon skull under his new London field back in 1845. Now as you start out on your own adventures, you can do so safely, preserving Atlantic Canadian fossils for future generations. With PEI fossils now garnering more media attention than ever, it's time to shift our focus to a province immediately to the south, a place with a rich paleontological history hidden in the land all around, to the fossils of New Brunswick, which tell a 400 million year old tale of ancient seas and the creatures who inhabited them.